<sighs> oh, I can't believe I'm talking about this, but uh, fine. This past week, I got a call from a friend of mine pointing me to an Instagram account and wanted my insights, wanted my thoughts on this style of photography, if this was even photography. And, um, whew. okay, so the name is Drax Darren. Um, the bio just says a lens for every planet, explorer, photographer, storyteller. Okay, I'm hooked, tell me more. I start scrolling through this person's feed and it's like every single image is on Tatooine. In fact, they're all tagged on Tatooine. The first photo that's posted here, it says just landed on Tatooine. What the, what the heck is this? Stay with me here. I'm gonna explain uh, what I know about what's happening with this particular account. Um, I'll explain to like how I know like what's going on here, or what's actually happening behind the scenes. And then I'll give you guys my opinion on my thoughts with uh, not just AI photography, but AI photographers. Okay, so obviously Tatooine is in a galaxy far, far away, and we don't quite have the bandwidth to be getting these kind of photos from there um, on the regular, on the daily. But Drax Darren represents a new type of photographer, or at least a new type of photographer personality online. Drax is one of these AIs that are being trained in stable diffusion with a model that's built around the Star Wars universe. What that means is this particular AI really deeply, truly like knows and understands the Star Wars universe and whoever's driving this account is driving it with like prompts and insights that are really hyper specific to the Star Wars universe. So this is something that like, you've probably seen similar quality photos or quality images, I should say. I still like, uh, but I've seen some of these like, these images pop up, these ideas pop up of people making images based on these prompts that are supposed to look like photography. But this is kind of the first time I've really seen someone like hyper focus in on a particular niche and feed it like this really specific stuff. It's it's kind of like fan fiction, but it feels very real. It, it's actually really exciting. I kind of dig it. But behind the scenes, this application, Stable Diffusion, if you haven't checked it out, I'll link it down below, is gathering all this information about all the Star Wars movies, all the different Star Wars characters, species, planets and then the person who is running this big model this big stable diffusion ai model is able to then plug in these prompts but the prompts are not just like hey give me an image of like an alien on a planet it's very specifically tuned not just to the star wars environment but also to the camera that is taking the photograph you can actually see in a lot of these images there's a description in the comments with what millimeter like focal length was used to take this photo or like what's the like optical formula being used. And I do know for a fact that whoever is running this account is actually trying to tune not just images, but also like focal, like optical formulas and imagery and like color science inside of this world to make like an actual photography like feel to the Star Wars universe that they're creating based off of this AI model that is based off of the films and all this content around the whole Star Wars universe. It's crazy, it's wild. And I will say this, like right off the bat, I would love to see some of these like raw images or like the images out of camera, whatever's generating these, like if they had metadata of like shutter speed and like ISO along with like that focal length uh, aperture. But yeah, whoever is running this account is clearly posting daily or almost daily. They're building a story, building out all these characters and environments and already kind of hinting at the fact that this is just the Tatooine series, that we should expect another series, maybe a Kashyyyk series, some street photography in Coruscant. That would be... So, okay, is this photography? I mean, some of this stuff like looks really good, uh, particularly with this one photo, this black and white photo that says it's in Moss Eisley, 50 millimeters. I don't know what Isotopter is. Isotopter, maybe that's their camera. I don't know. Like if you were to tell me this was a real image taken of someone doing cosplay or something, like if this was on a film set, I'd believe you. I, it totally would have me fooled. It's um, it's good. The lighting's really good. Um, the shadows, everything. It just it it looks too. It looks too good, it looks too real. So what are my thoughts? Like, is this photography? Um, is this just like, is this the, the the fourth horseman coming and we're all doomed? As someone who has kind of been around this world now for about 15 years, I was a part of the lynda.com team that uh, came out with that documentary. This is not photography. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. All about kind of Photoshop and this idea of like photo manipulation 
ruining photography or producing something that cannot be considered photography. But in the past, people were really concerned about things like Photoshop changing the way photos were, like asking if this was even photography anymore. But there's been something, a trend sort of thing that I've been seeing on YouTube in the last few years. It's been really interesting to see people use the photo mode in video games to do photography and tell stories inside of these virtual worlds. I do think that is photography. Um, it's, it's very nascent, it's very like, it's not the same feeling that I get holding a camera, going out, climbing a mountain, or going down to a river, or being out in the forest. But it is something. I do think it is photography. It is this form of like imagery where like you're presented a scene and then you have to capture it. They're not just like typing in a prompt into an AI bot and being like, whatever image you give me back, that's what I'm getting. This person's like crafting all the elements, or at least a lot of the elements that you would get in an image by taking a photo with a camera, except it's all being done virtually. I think this is the next evolution actually of building virtual worlds and then processing and creating like optical formulas, color science in those worlds to then create images. And, and I think in a way that aligns with what the goals of photography are. Is this a form of photography? I would say yes. Um, is it like perfect? Is it pure? Is it? No, I mean, this is it's like it's its own new thing. I think it's fun. I'm just here to enjoy it and be like, all right, cool. Let's see what's going on here. Drax, Darren, whoever you are. I love your storytelling. I love what you're doing. Keep it up. Leave a comment down below though, if you like just how you feel about this. Like, is this photography to you? Are, are you like, oh my gosh, the end is here. For all of you who have subscribed to this channel, I am so honored and like grateful for you being here. Thank you so much. Be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet all the way to a galaxy far, far away. We'll do it again soon. Later.